Welcome back to the channel, all you hardworking men and women. It's the weekend, but it's still time to clock in and get that education on so you don't have to be overworked, underpaid, undervalued, breaking your back for corporate America. It's time to create that new source of income for yourself and for your family so you don't turn 80 years old, look back at your life and be like, damn, I could have done so much more. Welcome back to the channel. It's going to help you become a profitable trader. So in today's video, this is a lesson from Brendan, my partner, man. He is phenomenal at explaining support and resistance level. And this is our bread and butter. This is what we use to trade. And this one strategy has made our students millions over the past years guys if you just learn this and pay attention to this video it will be absolutely life-changing for you and if you're new to the channel and you don't believe penny stocks can go at 50 60 70 80 90 percent in just one day i highly recommend you join our three-day free trial where we'll send you all of our trade alerts for the next three days and i guarantee you there's going to be one of those stocks on our watch list they go up 30 40 50 60 70 percent click that link right now get the three-day free trial and let's go ahead and get into this video enjoy all right so the next video in this technical analysis section is going to be arguably my favorite topic to discuss and what could be the best part of technical analysis the, the most reliable thing when it comes to actually trading and that is going to be support and resistance so we're going to go over some of the basics here we're going to go over some of the definitions and then we're going to actually jump into the charts we're going to analyze some support and resistance levels on the charts where to draw them and how to use them when you're trading this is going to be very 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 important because what i'm teaching you throughout this entire technical analysis section ultimately is going to be price action trading so you can use indicators. You can use all these fancy little indicators that, that are all averages and estimates and this and that. Or you can trade. You can trade with both, which is the best. But Or you can trade with price action, which is actually studying price. Where does price go? Where is price bounced off of a lot of times that looks like a great level of support? Where has price reached a point where it's, it's dropped back off of multiple times? Those are all important levels of analyzing price. This allows you to predict what is going to happen in the future with price before it actually happens, which is unlike indicators. The downfall of indicators is that they lag. So let's go over some of these support and resistance basics here. So support and resistance are two fundamental concepts in technical analysis. Understanding what these terms mean and their practical application is essential to correctly reading price charts. I'm going to go out on a limb and it's a very small limb here and say that there's not one professional trader out there, technical analysis trader at that, we'll add that stipulation in there, that does not use support and resistance levels. That is almost a guarantee. That is how important it is. If you want to trade TA, if you want to learn how to read charts, you better know how to identify support and resistance levels, how to use them and, you know, uh, what, uh, in addition to what types of trading you're doing, right? Because support and resistance levels are important, but you have to use them correctly on different time frames depending on what uh, what types of trades you're actually doing, right? Simple example is you can't be, you know, uh, trading a swing trade and setting up your support and resistance levels on the one minute time frame. We're gonna go over why. So, but just listen here. So, prices move because of supply and demand, right? That's just that's in general the entire economy stock prices move the same way it's all about supply and demand here so if prices are about supply and demand then you can reasonably assume that when demand is greater than supply price is going to rise just like that with every other item out there in the world when supply is greater than demand the prices are going to fall now of course sometimes prices will move sideways as both supply and demand are in equilibrium they're just going back and forth right so like many concepts in technical analysis, the explanation and rationale behind technical concepts are relatively easy, right? So you're going to be able to understand these definitions like it's nothing, but actually using them in application, actually applying them to the stock chart, and most importantly, actually taking profitable trades from them is going to where the pra is going to be where the uh, practice is going to need to take place, right? And uh, but the more you know, the easier it's going to be to actually learn and actually start to make these profitable trades off this. You got to start with the definitions in how to properly use them, right? So taking a look here, what is support? So I'm going to go over the, the definitions here, and then I want to jump into the charts and actually apply them, which is going to be the most valuable part of this video and arguably the entire section. So in a downtrend, prices fall because there is an access of supply over demand. The lower prices go, 
more the more attractive prices are going to become to those waiting on the sidelines to buy those shares, right? In a simple concept, you take a look at Tesla when it was rallying back a year or two ago, right? Uh, you know, people were waiting. They're like, I'm not buying those, those Tesla shares while it's absolutely skyrocketing. I'm going to wait on the sidelines. They're waiting for an important area of support. Price is going to fall off. And then all of a sudden, price is going to reach this level where it is just going to bounce off a certain level there. That is an entry where a lot of investors at the same time are like, hey, I'm looking to get into this around this level. And you see it bouncing off that level. It is sitting on a support level, right? And so, uh, it, it's some level of the demand here that's going to be, um, I'm going backwards, but at some level demand here that would have been slowly increasing will rise to the level where it matches that supply. This is going to be the support level, right? So that is very, 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 very important there. Now, what is resistance? Resistance is just the complete opposite, right? Prices move up because there is more uh, demand than supply. So as prices move higher, like Tesla, same example, it's rallying, it's rallying, it's rallying, it's rallying. Eventually, it is going to reach a point where that rally Lots of investors at the same time are going to want this rally to stop, and they're going to be starting to sell those shares. Well, that's going to be at a resistance level. At a point where we're bouncing off the upside here and coming back down, that is going to be your resistance level at the top where it starts to come back down. When it reaches that point of resistance, it's going to be tapped out, and it's going to come back down. When it reaches that support level, it's going to be bouncing off that support for a nice bounce in the upwards direction, right? So once an area of a zone or support or resistance has been identified, those price levels can serve as potential entry or exit points because as price reaches a point of previous support and resistance it will do one of two things balance or break away from the support and resistance levels now how do you identify these important important levels and that is done best by looking at the chart so we're going to use apple as our example here now i want this to note that i haven't traded apple in a long time therefore every line that i have drawn on this chart was literally drawn months ago, and yet they are still very, very effective. So, one of the what we talked about time frames. You know the difference between different time frames, when to use them, all that good stuff. But what you know, what is the best time frame to draw your support and uh, resistance levels on? It is going to be the daily chart. The daily chart is the best chart to draw those levels on because it is the most reliable. It's really higher time frames, right? So nothing really less than the one hour chart. Are you really going to be wanting to draw those support and resistance levels for a day trade, week trade, you know, multi multi day or week uh, trade swing? So the daily chart is where I always start, though. So I'm going to start you guys here. Start with the daily chart and draw those support and resistance levels. So all you really do in, in simple layman terms, you just back out. And you just look at levels where price has hit multiple times before. So, you know, and you can even jump out to the weekly chart. The higher the time frame, the better. So we'll do that here. We'll jump out to the weekly chart here. So we jump out to the weekly chart. We can see. Let's take a look because this is where it's going to get really clear for us here. So scrolling over, jumping over to the weekly chart here. Okay, here we go. We can see here are levels where price has hit multiple, multiple times. So it's going to be in, you know, some people include Wix, some people don't. I do both, right? So like I see, this is where it was a huge, huge, huge uptrend for Apple. Then it stopped. Well, this is going to be a major support line and resistance levels, probably important, important uh, support and resistance levels flip flop each other, right? So taking a look, this was resistance here. This, this came up with resistance. We came back down. Ultimately, the chart, you know, broke through. It came back down. But then we tested this as a support level. So the same level that was once a resistance level, we now test it as support. So as I saw price on this weekly chart, if I was looking at it coming down, 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 hitting off this support level here, I know this was a previous resistance level from the past. I know this could be a nice bounce area for the stock. And yes, it was. Boom, 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 boom. Now come over here. Take a look at this. This is where it gets so important. We bounced off that area once again. So guys, if I am looking at the weekly chart, I am looking at the daily chart, I'm seeing Apple come down, 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 down. Now look, I'm looking. I have this line already drawn. So I'm like, okay, something's coming up here. An important level is coming up here. Look at this. Hey guys, does any of this sound confusing to you? 
If so, then you may be a great fit for our private trading academy, where we'll teach you as a new beginner how to become a profitable trader within the next 12 weeks. We take you through our masterclass that shows you how to trade from A to Z. We send out our trade alerts every single day and you'll have access to private trading sessions. To make it simple, there's not a question we don't answer. There's not a topic we won't simplify. And we don't stop until you're 100% confident in your trading ability. And even when you are, we'll keep sending you our trade alerts just so you have context and you can keep growing that portfolio. So click that link right now. Join the three-day free trial. We'll see if you're a good fit and let's get back into the video. All the way back here, this was where we used it as support and resistance multiple times. Now we see it coming down to that level once again. You could easily reasonably assume that this is going to be an important balance point for the stock and it went absolutely perfect. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things here as I, you know, foreshadow some of the future um, classes that I'm going to be doing with inside this, inside this um, section. So we came all the way down, bounced off this support level here, which was our one that we identified I mean, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ago, but you use those levels in the future. So we see it coming down to that level. We know, uh, will it, you know, it's a maybe, right? But possibility. So it's all about possibilities and probabilities. So there's a high possibility that we could be bouncing off of this level. What sold me on this trade? Why was this an A1 trade? Because literally everything else matched as well. So we're going to go in depth the candlesticks in just a minute, but take a look at this long bottom wick here. You guys already know what the wicks are, right? So sellers sold this thing the whole way down during the day, all the way to this support level here where it touched, but it did not close the day below it or even on it. Buyers bought this thing all the way back up and this stock price closed way up here, left a huge bottom wick, which shows buyers bought this thing the heck up throughout the entire day, which is a very bullish sign for the next day and several days to come. And as you can see, huge bottom wick here off of a support level, Boom, rally, one of my favorite moves there, right? Also, in addition to that, we were at the 200 EMA, which we're gonna go over indicators. They're not my favorite because they do lag, but nevertheless, this stock price came coming down. We're reaching an important level of support, which is the best, right? The ultimate, I, in my opinion, one of the best indicators you can look at, or price levels you can look at, coming down to support. Huge bottom wick. This doesn't mean you buy in you know, on this day. You would buy in on this day, right? Because we see a huge bottom wick from the daily candle there, which you know shows that tons of buying volume came in towards the end of the day, which we could see it lead into the next days to come. That's two. And then we also see it bouncing off that 200 EMA there, which you're going to learn about that. All three of those things added up. Boom. This would have been a multi hundred percent swing trade until you hit the next level of resistance, which was way up here. Obviously, this was a resistance level two, but we busted right through it. You could have sold some profit here and took great profit, or you could have held, held some, whatever it may be, or you could have waited for the break since it was so close. But even if you waited for the break, boom, I mean, beautiful trade there, right? So that is support and resistance. That is specifically support. Support was the foundation of that absolutely perfect trade. Now take a look at this level up here. Look at this level that we literally just keep bouncing off of. We wick up to it, come down. We wick up to it, come down. Now we're up touching it once again here. But there's something very important that happened here. Uh, well, is happening. So I'll show you on the daily chart as well. Uh, like I said, we're using multiple time frames here when we analyze these charts too. So I'm going to start to do that in action for you guys. But uh, first, let's let's show you where we got this from. So if we take a look all the way back, this was a weekly level of re, uh, support, uh, resistance here. Sorry. So weekly level of resistance. We came all the way down, wicked off that, and just got slaughtered for weeks, right? This is a weekly chart. So every candlestick represents a week. So this is one, two, three, four, five straight weeks of absolute red before we bounce. This is a huge, huge level here. Take a look. Once again, weekly chart bounced off it again here. And uh, you can see multiple times here, us closing, opening all the way around this level until we get to recent times here, relatively recent. Some of these are still several, several, several weeks ago, but you can see all these levels. We came up, we touched the resistance level, bounced off of it, touched the resistance level, bounced off it, hung out up here, bounced off it. Now we're back up it again here. Two things are going to happen. We're either going to bust through and break out of this level, or ultimately we're going to get rejected off this level once again, and we're going to come back down. Both are going to make for fantastic trades here. So let's jump down to the daily chart here, and we can get a little better of a look at it. So the daily chart here, looking at the daily chart, we can see... Um, we can see on the daily chart here that, yeah, you know, pretty much the same scenario, but something very, very important when you're looking at candlesticks, when you're looking at support and resistance levels, you never, ever, ever want to look at a candlestick before it actually closes. 
And obviously this is different on different time frames. Right now we're on the daily chart. So none of these candlesticks matter unless they close, right? So look, in this case scenario, we wicked above it. At one point throughout the day, price was above this resistance level, which some would have argued there could have been a breakout that could come. But that would have been a false, false, false move because you can see throughout the rest of the day, this stock came back down and closed or up here, which was well below the resistance level. It means you would have got faked out if you thought this was a breakout. Why wasn't it a breakout? We didn't close above it. Now, if this candlestick came all the way up and we closed above that resistance level, that could have got you really thinking to possibly take a trade on a nice breakout. Even more confirmation would have been tomorrow morning if we open, that means another daily candlestick opens above this resistance level, that is the perfect scenario. You know, it doesn't work out every time, but probability, possibilities, that, that's one you're gonna hit a lot of times for a big breakout. You see resistance, you break out over that level, daily candlestick especially, but it depends what time frame you're trading. You know, it depends, day, swing, scalp. All brings back to those first couple lessons there, but um, it depends what time frame you're trading, but assume you're trading on the daily chart here, you're looking at the daily chart as your main uh, levels. You see the you see um, uh, price go over that resistance level, you see the candlestick close above it, you might even wanna take a trade, you see it open above it, bang, bang, bang. That's that, that's high probability that it is going to have at least one to two to three green days, right? It's going to be a, a possibly a very good breakout trade. On the daily chart here, I can see one thing kind of exciting is happening here for Apple. We closed above this line. Take a look at that. Now, it's, it's close. You could say maybe my resistance level is off just a little bit, right? But it closed above that line there, which is absolutely great. Um... So now tomorrow, I'm going to be taking a look at Apple. If Apple opens above this line, maybe even well above this resistance line, it could be a great day to take a day trade or a multi-day swing because it could truly be off to the races there. Now, there's also one important pattern here happening, a chart pattern that is very, very bullish. We're going to be talking about that one in the chart patterns uh, class here, which is going to be coming up relatively soon. So stay tuned because that could confirm a bullish trade for Apple here, which is pretty crazy seeing this uh, you know, live in the course. But uh, that is uh, the basics of support and resistance, right? We could go over it forever, but ultimately you're going to have to go out there. You're going to apply it. Take a look at those daily and weekly timeframes. And what you're going to do is you're going to identify levels where the stock price has touched a lot of times. So we can see even on this weekly chart without even going further back, if you don't have a resistance level drawn here, you're crazy because it has hit it one, two, almost three, almost four, five times here. Boom. That is a very important level there. You could draw it as a zone. You could draw it as a single line, right? And uh, down here is our support level. We also have a support level here as well, right? And so, like I said, you're going to use these multiple times as well. So this is not, uh, let's see, let's, let's use this in, as an example. This line right here is not just a resistance level. It's a support and resistance level, depending on when the stock or where the stock price actually is. So if we do get this breakout tomorrow on Apple, we go way up. Well, guess what? Now we're going to be using this line as support. So a great, another fantastic entry is going to be a breakout retest and then, and then, uh, you know, go from there and you can do this as a scalp trade, a day trade, anything. Uh, I look, I look at these trades on lower time frames and do them as scalp trades. So, uh, let's just assume for a brief minute, this is the one minute chart here, even though it's the daily chart tomorrow, I see a candlestick open up. Boom, above it, above it. Boom, we get a nice breakout here. Like I said, it's a one minute chart, so it's gonna move fast. We get a nice breakout above it. And then ultimately we come back down, we come back down, we come back down. I'm not worried at all, I'm on the sidelines here. What I'm gonna be looking at is a retest of this resistance level, which is now support. I'm gonna see a retest of this for support, looking for that balance. I'm gonna be buying in at this support level. Look, I don't care if we go below it, if it's just a wick, right? I don't care about wicks, closes. If we close below this line, trade's over. Stop loss out, right? However, if we just wick below it, average down. So we wick below, we average down, we pick up some shares around this support level. So breakout, retest of support now, and boom, back up. But you can see in that example how this once a resistance line now turns support line. So I really, 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 really hope that's starting to make sense here. We could jump down on the one minute chart here and take a look at some levels here. So as you can see on the one minute chart, we're actually well above this in the after hours. So this is kind of giving us the dark gray. Here's the after hours. It's kind of giving us some insight into tomorrow. If we can stay along this trend line here, if we can stay above this level here and continue to use this, look, look at the one minute chart. This is crazy. Look how many times the one minute chart has bounced off this level. This is now a resistance level on the one minute chart here. So looking at the one minute chart at a breakout midday and one, two, three, four, five times. 
this is even more convincing that Apple's gonna take off tomorrow. This is crazy. This is just beautiful. So tomorrow, if you see the market opening and you see, obviously, you know, you're watching this course at different times, but if you see it ultimately, uh, you know, we can't get to it yet. But if you see the market opening and it's still above this line using that support, there's going to be opportunities for trades, scalps, everything. But importantly, also, you should be seeing one thing as well. If you're trading the one minute chart here, we have a very strong resistance level. So this is a very tight channel here. We're probably going to break out one of the two directions, depending on which way we break out, could set us up for the future here. So I know we're analyzing charts as we go here. We're looking at them, but hopefully you're starting to understand the difference between support and resistance and how to actually use them to take trades. Buying at support, selling at resistance, selling breakthroughs of res or buying breakthroughs of resistance, right? Breakout retest. You can do the same thing with the support level. We break through a support level, we retest it. Now we're getting in here for the all the way back down, right? So this is one of my favorite trades right there, guys. Favorite, favorite, favorite trades are breakouts and retests, either direction. Um yeah, they're pretty good trades, but regardless. <sighs> That is the support and resistance section there. Hopefully, it kind of you guys understand it. Uh, I know it's it's really hard to describe it completely, but hopefully you get an idea. Now you have to go out there, apply it, watch charts, and ultimately see your trades actually play out, and you'll start to be able to time them better. That is all for the support and resistance section. Let's get to the next.